at the nine beam, then the five flare. I call it the Vizine. Am I clear? I seen Sean Troubles, he did time there. Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be my collection video. This is collection video number 22. Um, I do 25 at the time. So at 22, we're going to get through fragrances 525 through 550. That'll probably be it through uh, through the year. Um, next year, uh, we'll really early, I already have the next 25, we'll go through 550 through 575, and then by the spring or summer of next year, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get to 600. Um, the way I'm going to record this is going to be a little bit different. I just want to give you guys some forewarning as I adjust the camera. I'm actually going to do five at a time and record them over a couple of days because I feel like when I do 25 at a time, I just really rush through it. I don't really give you guys sort of a good reason why I bought each fragrance. It's just too hard for me now that I have this many fragrances. So you'll see this video as one video, but it's going to be shot over a couple of days for me. I hope you just get that. Hopefully, you know, I'll be able to edit it so that it won't make a big deal for you. But so let's go through fragrances. Um, I guess it's 525 through 550. So let's go right into it. Uh, the first one up is from the house of Yves Rocher. It's my first, it's called Voila Ombre. Uh, Voila Ombre. And this, the reason I picked this up um, is because this guy was on the best the modern top 500 modern base note fragrance list um this is yves rocher i don't know much about them honestly but it's a pretty classic french house and they have this higher end line called secrets to, to essence they have a few fragrances in this um that are really interesting to me this is the one that i was really interested in um and as an amber fragrance it's actually really good guys i picked this up for like 30 bucks on ebay um i think it's going to be discontinued soon it's already getting harder to pick up and if you're looking for like a decent niche quality amber for like 30 dollars 35 dollars definitely give this one a look it's it's really good uh, i'm gonna have a full review of it coming in in, in due time the bottle is really cool it's a nice quality amber fragrance uh, and um, I'm happy to have this in my collection so this one is called Voila d'Ambre by Yves Rocher the next one is you guys know like I actually get a lot of fragrance at um, at TJ Maxx now recently I'm actually smelling this one again right now guys to be honest with you recently since i've been going there i've been going there for years there's not much i want there anymore i sort of got most of what i want but sometimes i'll just go there and i'll see a fragrance and i won't know much about it i'll look it up and i'll just be like oh maybe i should give this one a try depending on the price this one i'd never seen before and this one is from a, a house called Jean artez uh, and it's called vini et soupam de Mort. And it means vanilla and lovely apple or apple of love. Um, and it was $8. And I was sort of not expecting much from this. You can see the bottle sort of looks like an apple. Um, and it's really nice. Like, it's two, there's two notes. It's vanilla and red apple. Um, and it's pretty goddamn good. <laughs> um, so for an $8 fragrance, if you can find this one, uh, palm, uh, what is it called, vanilla? Let's just see together. Vanilla as a palm d'amour by Jean Artaz for eight dollars. Give this one a look. Not a bad fragrance, guys. At all, gourmand. I've actually had a few girls compliment me on this one, so I'm super stoked. What more can you ask for? The next one is another one that I copped because it was on that list. I'm trying to actually. I think I told you guys this. I'm trying to smell every fragrance off the base notes top 500 modern fragrances list it's almost impossible because so many have been discontinued and there's just some that are super rare i'm doing my best i'm gradually trying to go through it and i think that's what you really do if you love fragrance there's been so much discussion in the fray comments of recent of people who are just fraudulent doing videos and people who love them and don't even talk, like love it love fragrance and don't even talk about everything they do 
yeah, I love fragrance, guys. I have a whole checklist of those 500 fragrances and notes and how I'm going to try to try to acquire all of them. And I, it's something I really don't even talk about that much, but that's not the point. And this isn't a bigger dick contest, obviously, because I'd win that every time. But anyway, uh, fragrance-wise and non-fragrance-wise, my dick is ridiculous. But uh, so this one is from Perfumer's Workshop, and it's actually called Samba Kiss Man. And I'm embarrassed to... Not because I just said that about my penis, but I'm embarrassed because I haven't really checked this one out enough to give you guys like a super good take on it. Um, it's a big vanilla fragrance. There's amber in it as well. There's feels like there's some lavender in it. It's really good quality. I don't know much about this Samba line, but this is a really good one. Uh, I will do more research on this one and get you guys a full review on it. I promise you Samba Kiss Man. Uh, by Perfumers Workshop is the, uh, the third one on this list. Fourth one is one from the house of Hugo Boss. I bought this as soon as I saw it in the U.S. because I actually don't know, don't own <laughs> Freudian Slip. I actually don't own anything from their bottled line. Uh, I really like Boss Bottled. It's on my list to get, you know, it's just at this point, you know, I'm slowing down with my purchases. But when Bottled Oud came out, I was like, oh, definitely need to get this one. Throw in the collection. I got it. I was super disappointed with Bottled Oud. When I first smelled it, I was like, oh, this is garbage. And then I sort of watched some other people talk about it and they really liked it. Like Robes, my buddy Mark really liked it. A few other reviewers were gassed on it and I sort of went back to it. Uh, and I really like it now myself. I don't know, they say there's natural oud in this. I think that's nonsensical. Um, I do get some green apples. So I sort of get like a green apple and oud. It's actually a really good fragrance. Uh, it's cheap now. I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't add this one to your collection. Collection. So next one up is Boss Bottled Oud. And then the last one in this five, real quick, and then we'll go to the next five, um, is from the House of Imaginary Authors. I was obviously given this. I never uh, try to act differently when a, when a fragrance is sent to me. So this one was sent to me by Imaginary Authors for a group U.S. review that me and a bunch of other reviewers did. Um, it's called Every Storm a Serenade. Uh, and your notes are Danish spruce, eucalyptus, vetiver, cologne, ambergris, and Baltic sea mist. And if you actually watch the video, um, I didn't really like this one that much. Um, I just felt like for Imaginary Authors release, it was kind of generic. I still kind of feel that way. It's grown on me a, a, quite a bit, actually, to be honest with you, because I think it's super wearable um, in heat, and I think it's really good quality, but I just feel like for what Josh is capable of, I feel like this, it was a little bit of a miss for me. And again, I'm just honest about this shit. Like, I don't care if I get this shit for free. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna speak my mind. This one was a very wearable fragrance, but I feel like Imaginary Authors has done so much better work. So those are the first five. Let's take a look at the next five right now. We got a couple from Ulrich Ling, uh, Ulrich Ling. First one is Anvers. Anvers is like a super, um, it's like an 80s fragrance. Imagine like an updated niche house did an 80s fragrance. A lot of animalic notes, a lot of musk, leather, woody, beautiful. Ulrich actually sent this one to me and he sent me the next one up as well, which is called Nightscape. Uh, Nightscape is beautiful. Uh, oh man, there's such beautiful citrus fragrances in, in this one, Cit citrus notes and Nightscape. Uh, I'm going to have a full review on both of these coming up. Ulrich actually just released a new fragrance, which I think is really summery. It's got a big cilantro note in it, so I hope to get, uh, maybe I won't get a full bottle of this one, but I hope to get a sample and talk to you guys about that one. But um, Anvers and Nightscape also in my collection, uh, courtesy of Ulrich Lang. The next one is another one that was sent to me um, by Hans Henley. I did a, a, uh, a scent safari video on Hans's fragrances and Jade just enthralled me so much. And for Christmas, uh, I got a package in the mail and Hans sent me a 15 ml of Jade because Hans is a super, super nice guy. So this is Henley, Hans Henley Jade. It's, it's only 15 ml, but this one is so potent. It's got... Um, a lot of green notes in it. There's like a, um, uh, an apple note in this one. There's a geranium note in this one. It's I think the apple actually comes from the geranium. There's mint, there's rhodium. Um, it's just sort of resinous and green. And if you like Absinthe by Nasamato, you've gotta check this one out. So this one is called Jade 
by Henley. Next one is the only fragrance I own from the house of Playboy. Um, yeah, I got one. You guys know I at least want to own everything from every house. That's sort of, I don't want to say it's a goal, but sort of one of the things I feel like you need to do if you're really legitimately, legitimately collecting. This one's called VIP, and it's a almost a one-to-one -one copy of a fragrance called Rocious Man by Rocious, and it's got that, that fragrance is lavender and coffee and maple syrup and vanilla, and uh, if you want a sort of perfect recreation of that, it's really close for like five or seven or eight bucks, whatever you can get this one for, check out Playboy VIP. It's actually a really good fragrance for a really cheap price. I don't know that I'd get anything else from this line. Uh, maybe I would, because this one actually did a pretty good job by me. Next one is from one of my favorite houses and one of my favorite collections, Andy Tower. You guys know how much I love Tower perfumes. Um, I I think Amber Flash is, I think, oh, I gave it away, fuck all of you. I think the Flash line is one of the best things that ever happened to niche, niche perfume. Uh, just because Andy started to make these really accessible fragrances for $60 a piece. Um, it's funny because I own three of these, I think. Let me just go through my head and make sure I'm right about that. Yeah, I own three or four. I might own four. I think I own three. We'll get to another one in another video. But uh, the one that I like the best is the one that I probably don't own, which is Vanilla Flash. Uh, just because it reminds me of so much of tobacco Vini, but I will get this. But this is definitely my second favorite. And this one's called Amber Flash. And to me, super animalic amber scent. Um, just really legitimately... Like, if you want a hardcore amber fragrance that you don't have the paper um, to, like, spend dough on, like, amber roots or just something that's a little bit... Or amber, um, uh, what's, what's uh, the Tom Ford amber? Amber Absolute. This is really, like, it's not close to um, amber roots, but it's really close to amber absolute for $60. You don't need amber absolute. You can just grab, grab this guy for $60 and feel great and or some of the even serves luton ambers like amber sultan is great um arabi is great but those are a little more pricey um actually you can get some of them cheaper on like you know discount sites but guys i think if you want like a niche amber and you don't have much paper get this one just spend 60 bucks and you're good for like a niche amber fragrance and we can talk about some designer ones you can get to sort of fill out your collection but if you want a niche amber you know how much dough this is a great way to, to get that in the same way vanilla flash is a great way to get a vanilla fragrance for not much money and incense flash and rose flash like just great ways to fill your collection for not not, not much money it's going to put these back in the collection we'll get to the next five in one second right now we'll get to the next five Guys, so let's finish up finish up with the next um, 15 in this video. I'm gonna apologize in advance that the lighting isn't as good uh, for these last 15, but as you know, filming these can be a little bit uh, tough. The next one up is from the house of Haramine. This one is called Urbanist uh, Privé. This was one I was super excited to get my hands on. Turned out to be a pretty big, actually called um, Urban is Silver. Pretty big letdown. It's uh, the notes when I read this one, guys, were like hazelnut and caramel and oud, and I was super stoked. And when I actually got it, let's just say, wasn't all that. I have a full review coming. I wouldn't say it's a horrible fragrance. Was was a bit of a letdown for me. Another bit of a letdown, guys. This one from the house of Jacques Bogart. This one is silver scent intense. Had a, a subscriber reach out to me. He's like, you got to check this one out. I read the reviews. It was like supposed to be a grape fragrance. Um, I looked online. They were like, there's lemon in this. There's oud. There's frosted lavender. There's grape. And I was like, oh, my God. Mm. If you're looking for a Jacques Bogart fragrance, guys, do yourself a favor grab Jacques Bogart, uh, I think it's called Prom, the original. Uh, that's easily the best of the bunch. I don't want to say this one's horrible. I just, I don't think it's a very good fragrance. It's sort of got like a synthetic, very synthetic grape note in it. Uh, that's almost like a candy grape. Uh, this one I picked up from TJ Maxx. Uh, this is the Lady Gaga line. I got the original Lady Gaga. I think it's called Fame. Not a huge fan. Is this one Oda Gaga? 
Um, not bad at all. I have to say, this one, you know, gets some comparisons to Azor Line by Tom Ford. And uh, I don't think it's a crazy comparison. You know, there's lime in this one, there's violet, there's leather. This is a 15 ml. If you can find one of these on the Lolo, uh, pick it up because they're cheap. I think this one was $10 and it's sort of a nice violet, um, leathery citrus fragrance, so not bad. This one from the House of Remy Latour, uh, the cigar line is called Dark Wood, not to be confused uh, with Dark Oud. Dark Wood, Dark Oud is amazing. Dark Wood, eh, uh, it's just okay. It's coconut, myrrh, tonka, and woods, right? So you see that and you're going to think to yourself, oh my god, I have to pick this up. Uh, that's what I did. You don't have to pick it up. It's just sort of a nice woodsy fragrance. Nothing too special, so uh, uh, mm. this one you guys know, man, how much I love this one. I got this for a really good price 90% full from Tenor Gilmore, one of the Facebook groups. This from Creed, it's actually the first fragrance I ever bought from the um, you know, I forget what it's called, um, but the exclusive series or whatever got it. Oh, the Royal Exclusives, it's right there. Uh, this one, Jardin de Amalfi. Oh man, I love this one. You know, with Aventus and Green Irish Tweet, probably my favorite, favorite Creed fragrance apple, cardamom, pink pepper, rose, lemon. Just an amazing fragrance from Creed. Gonna have to get more when I run through that one. Not a big fan of the original Dolce and Gabbana, the one, because it just really is unbelievably fleeting on my skin, but the EDP does a much better job. You know, guys, this one's sort of cardamom, citrus, tobacco, amber, cedar, kind of has like a, uh, a um, tropical vibe. I think the EDP is more woodsy and spicy, but this one actually lasts. I don't think there's any reason at this point you should be getting the one EDT. I think just go out of your way, pick up that uh, that Eau de Parfum, uh, and you'll be much better off. This is really, really good. One of my certainly favorite designers that I've I've picked up this year. Um, next up, one from the House of Lush. This is a great, great, great fragrance. People that I've let smell this have been blown away by this one, this guy. Um, I only got the 10 ml, but this one's called All Good Things. And this one has citrus, star anise, and coumarin. It smells like pound cake. Uh, drizzled with like orange syrup. Uh, it's a poor man's lira by Zerja, to be 100% honest with you guys. If you like that one, you can't afford it, check this one, check that one out. Next one, first one from the house of Armani Privé, will not be my last from Armani Privé. Um, oh God, guys, this is so my favorite. I got a really good deal on this as a tester, but I managed to get the cap. So super stoked for that. This is Ambra Eccentrico. Um, and this guy has stone fruits, like peach, I get plum. It's got amber, cinnamon, and tonka. It's a gourmand dream. The bottle's beautiful. It, amazing amazing fragrance it's actually for me the best that i've smelled from this collection next one another disappointment um the bottle is great on this one this is from john varvados and it's called dark rebel when i saw the notes on this guy rum vanilla spice juniper leather i went no i was like oh my god i blind bought it <sighs> You know, Vintage by Jean Varvados is one of my favorite fragrances of all time, honestly. It's probably top 20 designer for me, I would think. And um, I just sort of thought maybe this would be in that same vein. I love the presentation. It's got these little strings. Uh, it's got a beautiful heavy cap with that, like, uh, I think it's called Le de Fleur logo, New Orleans Saints logo. It's heavy, but uh, it just smells like a lot of other designer releases. It, it isn't really impressive to me. It's not bad, but it just doesn't really get me excited. Uh, next one is another from Tower. We saw Amber Flash before. Well, now we have Fruchuli, Fruit Chuli Flash. Uh, love this one, Patchouli, Apricot, Peach, and Rose. Uh, it is very, it's probably the most feminine of the flash line so you might want to think about that just before you take a look at it because it's really fruity but uh, I will buy everything from this flash line because I just think it's it's great for perfume 
next one is one I picked up from a Barney's warehouse sale online. Um, I forget who told me they were like, yo, this fragrance is $40. And it was like originally $200. Um, and when I smelled it at Barney's when they released it, I liked it. I just didn't want to pay $200. It's called Greg Loren. The presentation on this is bananas. There's actual tape and string there. Uh, you've got a heavy cap. You've got actual paint on the bottle. To me, it's really about two notes, vanilla and C note. So if you can imagine sort of an aquatic with vanilla notes, that's what Greg Loren is. I wouldn't pay $200, but I would certainly never pass up the chance to pay $40 for this one. Next up is one, and by the way guys, all of these that you haven't heard me talk about are gonna be getting reviews on, especially this one, uh, Ambergris Showers from La, La Rosasa. I bought um, Le Yucalum Almond, one of my favorite interpretations, I consider that an interpretation of Tuscan leather. This is pretty original and this has three notes, galbanum, iris, and green notes. And this is amazing. This is one of the best value fragrances I've probably ever bought at Ambergris Showers. Uh, I, I love this. I, I think this is incredible. Uh, I love galbanum, you guys know that. So expect a review on this one, Rasasai, Ambergris Showers. I think we've got three more so let's get let's get to them uh dunhill icon uh one of my favorite designer fragrances of all time dunhill icon absolute i'm sorry saffron tuscan leather black rose and oud a darker version of the original uh the original sort of sweeter and has neroli and citrus notes this one's just dark it's citrus oud rose and leather incredible presentation uh, need to smell the new Dunhill. I forget the name of it. It's in that black bottle, but uh, I'll, I'll buy all of these just because I know they're going a little crazy with it, but the presentation is so bomb and the fragrances have been so good so far. Next one, Frambois Noir. Frambois Noir, Black Raspberry, was my uh, fragrance that I featured when Chad did his... Uh, his hidden gems video this is amazing 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 fragrance raspberry oud woods chocolate and iris like whoa shea and blue to me is so off the hook guys like you know watermelon and this and salt caramel and uh the new one i want to try blueberry musk like I, and they have 30 mls and to me that's everything in the world so love shea and blue this one is called Frambois Noir. And then the last one, another one I'll have a review coming up on. My first one from this house. This house is called Parfum de Nicolai. This is one of their newer ones. I know they have Oud Incense coming out, but this one's called Cure Cuba Intense. And this one's Licorice, Mint, Tobacco, Hay, and Civet. I mean, how dope does that sound? So, you know, I'm going to do a starting lineup for fall very soon. Um, and this is going to be in there because this is a daring daring full fragrance just think about licorice mint tobacco hay and zavet how fucking dope does that sound guys so these are fragrances 525 through 550 in my collection i hope you have enjoyed these uh i know there's going to be a bunch of these you want to see a review on reviews on uh if you have any preference let me know and I'll try to get to the ones you guys want to see quicker than later. Uh, as I said, I already have bottles 550 through 575. That video is going to be filmed and coming up very early, either uh, or very late this, this year or very early next year. And uh, I think I'm at 590 or something like that. So we'll get to the... the uh, next round probably in the spring of, of next year or something like that but hope you guys enjoy these um, still buying bottles just not as fast as I, I've done in the past and uh, thank you guys so much for watching continuing to, su to support and I'll see you guys again real soon with, with another video obviously guys you know what it is my name is Max I'm the next rapper to let it off don't be a bitch with the ratchet set it off me and Panero I'm Pesci and he De Niro uh -huh. the dude shoot a Bluetooth off your earlobe. Yeah, yeah. Everything cope is steady. The coke still flowing for now. The dope is dead. When it's only a fall, it's a slow brain. New connect 34.